Hey, what's up everybody? Nola Deech here, and I'm coming to you from DeRitter, Louisiana to check out this old building behind me. Let's go take a look. This is the Gothic Hanging Jail in DeRitter, Louisiana. It's called that because two men were executed here in 1928. The two men, Joe Jenna and Moulton Brassaw, robbed and killed 45-year-old taxi driver J.J. Breville in 1926, right here in DeRitter. All they wanted was some money and ended up taking a life. And in March of 1928, they hung the noose down the middle of the spiral staircase in the middle of the jail so everybody who was imprisoned here could see the hangings take place. Now the jail has been closed since 1984, and most recently it's been open to the public for us to come take a look inside. And I hear it's very haunted. So I joined up with some paranormal investigators to come out here and see if we can find any kind of paranormal activity inside the jail. Well, let's head on inside and check this place out. As soon as you walk in, you see the whole place is made out of concrete and straight ahead is the spiral stairwell where the hanging took place. And so this would be where the jailers would live and sleep and eat. And uh, there was somebody always here while the prisoners were locked away in their cells in the other rooms. It's crazy. This is the bedroom area here. Some furniture here, a little cabinet for clothes little dressing area, some mirrors and pictures, and of course the bed. The whole family would live here, including children. This is the first floor of the jail. All the prisoners were upstairs in their cells while this family lived down here. This is pretty wild. This would be the kitchen area here sink and stove and little prep area here. They've got a newspaper clipping about the two men that were hung here and Molten Brassaw, Joe Jenna. I've never done anything like this before. This is awesome. I, I, I don't even know what to say. This is just the coolest thing ever. So they've turned the lights out for us. So the only lights are from our cameras and little flashlights that we have. And I'm walking in, this would be one of the general population cells, and you can see there's the beds there. Surely there would have been some kind of a mattress sitting on top of that metal frame there, I believe. Could you imagine this, this is where you live? What is this? Okay, so they have this black plastic on the windows here to keep the light out during the lights out tour of the jail. And there's handprints on this particular black plastic cover. This is weird. And there's a message. It looks like it says, beware of something. I don't know. This is checking out the rest of the room here. We've got the shower area. The toilet and the sink. One little toilet, one sink, one shower for everybody. I can't even imagine. I, I just can't imagine having to live like this. Crazy. So this is the K2 meter. And a lot of paranormal investigators use this a lot. What I like to use it for is asking questions, yes or no questions. And what it does is measures the electromagnetic field. And the theory behind it is that the spirits are able to manipulate the device. So I'll ask a question, you know, I'll say light it up once for yes and twice for no. So underneath the jail is a tunnel that used to go to the building next door, which is a courthouse. And I guess that's how they would transfer the prisoners from the courthouse to the jail. 
Now the tunnel is, has been filled in since then, but I'm going to come down here and do a little investigating on my own while everybody else is on a different floor doing their investigations. All right, so this is the tunnel. And this tunnel used to go all the way to the courthouse next door, but it no longer does. They have filled it in and it's actually, it's got some water, sitting water in here. You can see where the steps used to be that went kind of down, but it can't get through anymore. We're gonna try and see if we can get some activity with this device instead of the other device. They call this a K2, by the way. Got nothing. No activity. Nobody wants to say hello to me. I have never done anything like this before. This is an incredible experience. This is awesome. Uh, ghost hunting, man. I'm like just trying to say hello to some ghosts in this beautiful, amazing jail. This is really cool. At the very top up here is the rope that they've hung up here with the noose and a trap door. And this is where they would have hung those two men, right in the middle of this stairwell, for everybody to see, all the prisoners could see and hear when this happened. That's crazy. And there it is. Now, I don't think this is the actual noose that they used, but still. We're back at the bottom now. They're going to open the trap door and drop the noose down. So the theory behind the actual spirit boxes and all these voices that are coming through is that they actually manipulate sounds in order to make words. Hmm. And that's it right there, right? Lunchbox Jr. Well, this right here is uh, it's a portal. Uh, and I'm going to show you how it works in a second. All right. Um, so I'm going to use an app. And basically what it's going to do is going to scan through radio stations. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like a spare box, but you're not going to hear the static. Right. That's usually with uh, spare boxes. So this is just going to be like pretty much pure radio stations that it's scanned through. Okay. All right, so what we're doing is we're going to use this spirit box. We're in the stairwell right now. We're going to try to get some activity to come through. Is there anybody here right now? I heard y'all were in a gas station the day of the murders. Would you have killed the attendant had he been there. alone at the gas station at any time? Let's we'll go see what that is. So I'm in one of the general population rooms and I heard some kind of a noise over here. I'm gonna go see what this is. This is this is the room with the, the handprints, I believe. No, it's a different general population room. Kind of the same setup as the other room I was in. What the heck was that? Something just touched me on my head. I thought it was a string from the light bulb. That was weird. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go get them, somebody to come and help me with this. I'm inexperienced in this thing. So you see this? Yeah. I felt that on my head, but I was standing over here because <laughs> I heard that moving and I guess the wind must be moving that, mm -hmm. but I was so standing here I felt it like... Oh, you felt that, but you were I here. I felt that, but I was right here. Because I, I heard rustling, I was like, well, let me go see what that is, and that's moving and I guess, like I said, it's got to be the wind. Yeah, I felt it. I felt it. I didn't see like I thought maybe if something fell. I don't know. Mm -mm. Mm 
Yeah. I know downstairs it freaked me out at first because I didn't know what it was. Right. You know, we were down in the office and that's when I noticed it the first time. Like, oh, it's these little strings. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> was it the paper? I heard something. See, I, I, I was hearing something and I thought that was the paper. You heard it too, right? Like I did. Crazy. I heard something, but I thought maybe it came out of there, but... No, that clearly came. And as we was walking out, same as you, you heard something over there. But yeah. I thought it was the paper. It's got to be paper, because it's moving. Yeah, I heard it over here. Is this one like this one? crazy right now. Who's here? Can you do that again? Do it again. Like the whole jail started protesting. <laughs> <laughs> Every single one of these just spiked Look at the K2 meters. All of these K2 meters are going was on. That, was that somebody pointed at that with a camera? Yeah. Every single oh, one just yeah. went red all at the same time. Are you stuck here? It's still on it. Continue, Mr. Lapp. Is that you lighting up those K2 meters? I'm standing right here next to me. Back away from the K2 meter. Let it go. Thank you. We're going to do once for yes and twice for no. Are you the little boy? Hey. hey! What's your name? Turn it down. Like I'm gonna turn this down. It's the wind? Okay. It's back up. She was right. 
We can hear you. You could speak and come through the device. What is your name? I'm hearing footsteps. Yeah, I'm hearing it too. Dave, do an example. Is anybody doing anything with devices, electricity, something? Who's doing that? Look, even all of them. All of them. Yeah. Wow, look at them. All of them going on. Who's doing that? In. In. I can go. In fire. All right, let's play a game. Yeah. <clears throat> Sit round and hairy. <laughs> I'm gonna count. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use some numbers. You and I want you. That's definitely a prison. It was that. This was a prison. <laughs> All right. Find it. All right. Who am I speaking with right now? Dave, you upstairs? I'm tired. He is upstairs, but I heard steps in that room. The one behind you. Dave? Gone. Do you know where Dave's at? Yeah. Yeah. Down there. Get Thank you. Watch him? <laughs> You keeping an eye on him? Most likely. Most likely. Most likely. I thought he said most likely. Most likely. Most likely. Most likely. Of course. I'm walking around on one of the other floors here and I came across this jar. Looks like it's got a baby doll head in here. That's really creepy. I don't know why that's just sitting out like this. Checking out one of these rooms. Looks like this is just a, a room of storage. What the heck is this? What in the world is this? This has to be some kind of Halloween decorations or something. That's creepy. Look at that. All right. And a, and a hand over here. Wanted to come up here to the solitary confinement cell. So it's like kind of a cell within a cell. This is cool, man. This old cell door here with the label on it. Check out the keyhole. That's cool. I guess this bar, you would pull that to shut the cell door on the inside there and lock it. So in these cells, this is where they put the worst of the worst. They had to separate them from other people. They were one per cell in here and they just had one bed, a little toilet and a little sink and that was it. This was their life until they were done. Somebody in here with me? Make a noise if you are. Just make a noise.
You just made a noise, go ahead and make another noise. I'm gonna go get Kevin and them to come help me out with that. That was, that was weird. I'm gonna have him come up and take a look at it. Yes, this was, yes, this was it. All right, so this was the actual jail cell right here where I had thumped that. Let's go inside. So, when I was in here, I actually had, I think it was my K2 with me, and I had it right here. And as I'm standing here, something bumped me on my leg, and I had actually buckled my knee while I was in here. So the first thing I'm thinking is like, all right, who pushed me, you know? But I couldn't explain who or, or what was that that bumped me, so it's pretty creepy. Look, if you look, they got some words right here. Just a minute of That was me, by the way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what does it say here? Inside these chambers of death, I will dwell forevermore. I lost my heart, my mind, my soul just because of a bolted door. That's deep. So this is the solitary confinement cell. Not a lot of room in here. Got one little toilet, one little sink. Doesn't look very comfortable. A little hole to, I guess, pass food through. All right, so we're going to do a little investigating in the solitary confinement cell now. If there's somebody in here with me, I want you to come in, or if you're already in here, I want you to come and speak to this device here. Hey, somebody. Hey, hey. Who's here? This is Kevin. You were lighting up these devices a few minutes ago. Well, somebody was. Can you do that again? Who's in here? You are. You are. <laughs> right, I am. What was the crime? Back. Let's talk about it. It's Ted. Did you die here? No. To her neck. Possibly. Yes, we did. I heard that. <laughs> Now we're back on the first floor in the living quarters and we're going to see if we can find anything in here. Can y'all let the little boy come out to talk to us, please? Sure. Hello? Can you answer my question? Uh, open up. <laughs> open up. <laughs> wow. Please. 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 Who still lives here? Uh, she's dead. She's, she's dead. dead. Who's dead? What's the name of the jailer that lived here? And I got some names. Who was the doctor? Frazier? Yes. 
Is he the one that declared him dead? Is that that? Yeah, he's the one that saw him beforehand. I'm going to say some names, and I want you to... There's no point. There's no, no point. point. So I want to thank Kevin and Randy and Melissa and Dave and Marlena for letting me come out here and do this with them. This was an incredible experience at the DeRitter Gothic Hanging Jail. I just, this was awesome. This is the most fun video I think I've ever made. I, I, I'm speechless right now. This is awesome. Thank you guys for this opportunity. And guess what? There's gonna be more like this. They locked me in. I don't know what to do. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little land yap from this Houdat. Go pass a good time.